Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I'm doing the 90 km an hour full range test with the Mercedes EQA. And why at 90 km an hour? Well, 90 km is an estimate average of what the normal car is being driven, city and country road. And it comes very close to the WLTP range. I want to see if I can get 426 kilometers, what Mercedes says EQA is capable of. And I'm driving at 92 on a speedometer because that's 90 kilometers an hour GPS speed. Uh, already charged to 100%, full, we can go. I'm at 75% and I drove almost 92 kilometers, which would be 368 kilometers of range on the whole way. That's not very good. My, my consumption is higher than I, I thought it would be. Where are we? Here we are, 174. Average speed is good with 88 kilometers an hour. That is very good. And I have the heat off. Climate is totally off, light is off, there's no other, other thing that can consume anything. Let's go to EQ and consumption, yeah, it's 97% is driving, nothing is from the heat. Huh. So we'll see how the range is. I will turn around at 50. 52, 53 percent, because I think on the way back we have less consumption. Taupe. I'm at 50% and I drove 190 kilometers. Consumption is 170, I just turned around. That's why the average speed went down from 88 to 87, had to wait on the light. Um, it's 170 kilometers to back to home, to the Georgia. Uh, so with this right now, it would be 380 kilometers plus 1% uh, that this trip meter is off, so 384. Still not the 420 that I was hoping to achieve. It's nice and warm now, 18 degrees. My jacket is a bit warm. Climate is on, but no AC. It's just a fan on two on low, so it doesn't heat and it doesn't cool. What a nice ride. I missed it, I'm so sorry, I'm at 24%, I missed 25, I'm at 294 kilometers, S uh, still 64 kilometers to the Charger, I think it's a bit less, and I have 95 kilometers of range, so there's no problem, but I should still arrive with around 360 kilometers, and then we calculate what the whole range of the call will be, uh, I think it will arrive with around 10%, that's okay. Uh, I had the, the climate is still on, is, is, is on, but no heat, no AC, it's on low temperature and fan 5 because it's nice and warm, 17 and a half degrees and the sun is shining. It's very nice today. Good test. I like it. And I barely had to slow down. So 99% I'm driving the 92, maybe slowing down to 90 and then back up. It's fine. This is a, it's a good test, good consumption test, and we'll just go to the charger even if I have state of charge left to keep the average speed at 88 and 
consumption was at 166 before, but it went back up again. It will get lower on the downhill before Pozzo. I arrived, 9% and 356.5 kilometers. I will put in what Google Maps says what the distance was. It should be 1% more than this. So three and a half kilometers more, which should be 360. And with 9%, that means, that would mean 395 kilometers. Let's look at my consumption. Where are we? Now come on. There we are. So it was 168, 87 kilometers an hour uh, average speed is pretty good. Took me four hours and four minutes. That was a good test. The, the speed that I was doing was, was almost perfect. I, th I mean, I have to, had to turn around once, of course, and I had to switch a highway where I had to slow down. But other than that, I think I had to slow down once for someone who was wanting to go into the highway. Other than that, and a few times maybe from 90 to 88, and a few construction zones where I went from 92 on a speedometer to 90. Um, and that's it. So the speed was pretty good. Every speed, 87 is awesome. I'm okay with that. And if it's 1% off, it's almost 88. Did it 87? Ah, doesn't matter. Charging 108 kilowatt, charge you 50%, then I go home. It's the last thing I filmed with this car. I already did everything else before. Um, so we are at 395 kilometers. At, and it was really good conditions. The morning was seven degrees, yes, but now it's almost 20, it's nice and warm. AC or heat was off the whole time, lights were off, nothing else had to consume. And the consumption didn't go down strongly when it got warmer, so I think this is the number that you're getting. Not 400 kilometers, not 426 WLTP test. I'm pretty sure, maybe if you drive it in the summer, so when it's in the afternoon, it's 25 degrees, you get a few more, more kilometers because the air is a bit thinner. But it's okay. I think it's okay for a big SUV, but big battery. And I think the consumption is high, but that's how it is. It was still a fun, fun drive. My, my bum and my back hurts a bit, but who drives four hours very slowly the whole time without getting out of the car? That's the good thing about electric cars. <laughs> but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.